Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video and spending time with me. I know that these are very uncertain times and I send you uh, lots of love and positivity and serenity your way. Um, today's reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Cancer watching, so feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I'm going to start the reading pulling from two oracle, oracle decks. I've already shuffled them off screen, so I'll just cut the decks here on camera. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer, in love. Love it. Loyal heart. That is beautiful energy. Okay, starting off strong. Let's see what else we have for you, Cancer. Details, details. Interesting. So you have someone here looking really closely at something. Um, this person has is looking for or has sought clarity and has gotten it. Um, and they focus on details. So every time I say details, details, I think of possibly contracts or wanting an offer to be just right, wanting communication to be just right, wanting the connection to, they're very detail oriented. So very Knight of Pentacles energy that I get here. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Oh, I love it. Bottom of the deck come together. So I'm getting really good energies here. I really love that. All right, Cancer. Let's see what else we have for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding love? Messages, please, for Cancer regarding love. What does Cancer need to know regarding love? All right. Huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented on the videos. I really appreciate it. Wow, four of wands. Okay. What else do we have for cancer? The situation that I talk about today uh, could have already happened to be currently happening or happen in the near future because time is fluid. So just keep that in mind and roles can be reversed. So feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Any messages for cancer regarding love, please. We have already four of wands and king of cups. So this is looking good. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles right underneath that. Wow. Um, I just did Pisces and they had the same placement with the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, we got Six of Swords here and Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Someone's probably left a situation where they felt um, shut out. Um, possibly they felt left out um frozen out possibly as well could have been you could have been this person that you were dealing with seven of swords okay so we're going to clarify all of these because typically that's not the best energy but wow i'm really like upset <laughs> Because it started off so good. And then now we've just shifted. There's been a shift here. We're going to clarify all these. But what I'm seeing so far, I'm seeing someone here with really good intentions, with a lot of love and appreciation for you. Someone emotionally mature could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who wants to make you a solid offer here. There's a solid offer coming in. This person might be the one that's focusing on the details, details, details regarding this offer, possibly because they want it to be stable and grounded. Um, they want to offer you the best. With four of wands coming into the reading here, so what I'm doing with this spread is recent past, current energies, and future energies. It doesn't have to be though. Um, I'm reading this spread as a whole, but just so you know. Um, so what I'm seeing is coming into the reading, there's stability, there's structure here, there's celebration possibly a twin flame type of connection if you believe in those um this is my card for wedding marriage long-term commitment etc so i feel like this person um either someone's already in this type of connection or this is what someone wants to offer you because i feel like these three are connected here however someone ha was in a difficult situation here that and they left this situation and now coming into the recent future or the near future here is the seven of swords 
So someone probably sneaking off, sneaking away possibly, or someone trying to strategize here. So let's clarify to see what we have. This could be you, Cancer, as well, this King of Cups. Someone could just be seeing you as a King of Cups energy. So let's see what we have. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Cancer, please. For a lot of you, this person could have just been um, moving, they moved away or something. Um, there could have been financial hardship. Someone could have blocked the other or there might not have been communication for a long time. We'll clarify. Let's start with this Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Wands spirit, please, for Cancer. Okay, give me one second. Okay, these are the ones that have left over. I'm not gonna take these here. King of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, so someone wants to communicate that they want this Four of Wands with you is what I'm getting. I feel like it's the same King of Cups here. Okay, so someone wants to communicate that they want this with you. I have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so clarity. And if you look at this card, it says clarity in the magnifying glass. I don't know if you can tell, but right here. So this person possibly has gotten clarity about making this offer to you. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Eight of Cups and Two of Cups. Interesting. So this could be taken two ways. Either this King of Cups left a Two of Cups relationship or they're walking towards a Two of Cups relationship. Someone walked away here from something. Possibly this King of Cups. This King of Cups was probably, you have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this King of Cups was probably in a commitment or something where they were not happy. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups and Two of Cups energies. Let's see. Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. Interesting. Passion, I mean, these are both of these are messengers bringing something. Knight of Wands is very passionate and impulsive. Knight of Cups is very emotional and the Romeo of the deck so I feel like this could be two people, a fire sign, a water sign, doesn't have to be. This person, whoever this is, I feel like they've walked away from a situation that was not for them. Um, and I feel like they want to rush in either with an apology or some sort of passionate offer to someone that they feel a connection with, with the Two of Cups. But someone definitely walked away here. I think it was this King of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of, I mean, Six of Swords, sorry. Tell me about this Six of Swords. There's the clarity again with the Ace of Swords. Someone had clarity about a situation and walked away from it. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Tell me more about the Six of Swords and the Six of Swords, please. For Cancer. Okay, Four of Swords. So healing from whatever situation this was. I feel like this was a tough situation for this person. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So someone's definitely heading towards their Queen of Cups here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Cups. Could be a possible reunion. It could be just coming together, celebrating with someone. Um, but this person's heading towards this Queen of Cups to make this offer. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? 
Eight of Swords. So someone here is thinking about this offer. Possibly, oh, and there's the Five of Cups. Okay, anything else? Anything else for this Ace of Pentacles before I share my thoughts, okay? Strength, okay. This person, I feel like, is really worried that they're going to be rejected here with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. There could be guilt, remorse, regret, um, and that's why they're in their head about it. Um, possibly, if this is someone from your past, something probably happened between you two where someone was shut out, um, and this person is regretting it, um, and they, they still want to have the courage, though. It's like they're going to need courage here with the strength card to overcome their fears to make this offer could be a Leo that you're dealing with I have the lovers at the bottom of the deck sign of Gemini but this to me tells me this person really wants this union there's a decision that has to be made between the head and heart here they're going I feel, I feel like they're listening to their heart but also trying to be smart about going after this connection Tell me about this Five of Pentacles for Cancer. What's this Five of Pentacles about? Oh, wow. Death and the Chariot. Sign of Scorpio, Sign of Cancer. A transformation taking place here. Someone wants to transform this feeling of being shut out, of not, of being cold and left out and possibly no communication back and forth, struggling. Someone wants to put an end to that, wants to transform that, and wants victory and success. They want to move forward from that. Completely want to leave that energy behind. Tell me more about that Five of Pentacles, please. Anything else? Five of Swords and the Lovers. So there could have possibly been some sort of disagreement, some sort of defeat here with this Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. A challenge here that didn't go it, it possibly didn't it's like nobody won from that exchange um, this could have been in the past the recent past or just something that this person is trying to overcome and I feel like this is the challenge the blockage to this connection is the the difficulty that happen in the past whatever your situation is with this person if you know them already or if this person is someone new to your life it could be that this person has overcome certain challenges but has fears because of that you know um, or it could be that you and this person already know each other and there were some challenges in your past together um, but this person I feel like they probably lost something very special to them um, or they're there was a struggle that they've overcome. They want to move forward into a union that is healthy and stable here because this person is leaving a tough situation with the Six of Swords for more balance, for stability. So what's the Seven of Swords about? Tell me about this. Tell me about... Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Anything else? Okay. Anything else for this seven? Okay, fine. My cards just want to talk today. So we started off with the eight of pentacles. So again, hard at work. I'm really getting this details energy as well. Someone really hard at work on themselves, on this offer, on their stability, on their finances. Like they're just really focused. Um, again, ten of swords. Someone has put an end to something. Possibly they were betrayed by someone else or something like that in the past. Or, um, you know, there's a new cycle for them happening here. Three of Pentacles. They want to rebuild. They want to have a stable foundation. They want to work together with you. Or this could have been a third party situation. It could be either of those things because I have the seven of swords here. So I cannot help but think that someone was trying to have their cake and eat it too. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Cups. So this person is working hard on their wish fulfillment. I feel like they have a goal in mind. They're, they're focused on the end game here. This could be somebody strategizing, again, with the details, details. Um, they could be strategizing to get 
to make this offer so that this offer is the, the most stable offer they can make. Um, so that could be it as well. But whatever happened here, whatever the case, this person's focused on rebuilding and on getting their, their wish. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. What else can you tell me about this Ten of Swords, please? Well, that's way too many. What else can you tell me about this? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. So someone put an end to something to be uh, independent, single, stable. Anything else for this Ten of Swords? Someone detached from something. Okay, fine. Ten of Wands. Someone let go of a burden. I have two tens here. Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like this person, again, is trying to be brave, trying to protect and defend themselves, trying to um, stand up for what they believe in here. Um, Six of Pentacles, someone wants to make something right, rebalance a situation, which that's what I think they're trying to do. They're trying to have more stability, more balance. Seven of Pentacles, someone's probably looking at the past and wondering if they invested in the right thing, if things are going to happen for them, if... if Maybe they wanted things to grow somewhere else and it didn't bear fruit. It didn't go anywhere. Um, this person could also be thinking about investing in the right person or the right situation. It's like they've learned from their mistakes and they want to reinvest somewhere else. They want to grow and build somewhere else. They want to put effort somewhere else. All right, so that is your reading. I hope that it resonated with most of you if it did please let me know down in the comments what your situation is all about i love reading your comments um, like or subscribe if you enjoy my readings um, thanks again to everyone who is um, watching and joining me and you know keeping me company and again i send you positive positivity and love and reassurance because um, i know we need it right now otherwise i'll leave it here take care